Hello. Here at Alaf Lane. Yeah. Hi. Oh wow, looks good. Chantelle never thought she'd need donated soap and toothpaste to keep her daughters and her house clean. But when her job as cabin crew was grounded by the pandemic, furlough payments barely covered her rent. And she had to choose between buying food and basic hygiene products. I was trying to make things. So make cleaning products myself, make toothpaste myself, baking soda. And I've got two children um, at the time. They were two and seven, but... Um, it wasn't going very well. So the smell of white vinegar as a cleaning product wasn't something they enjoyed and baking soda wasn't something um, they could tolerate. You don't want to admit that you failed and you, you don't want your children to know how bad things are. And things are as bad as that for 9 million people who can't afford basic toiletries, according to research by charity In Kind Direct. A number that tripled on last year, they say with more than a third of those in need living with children. And we hear examples of, of families um, using washing up liquid as shampoo and shower gel, children sharing toothbrushes, you know. You know the, the people making their own period products by going into Tesco's and, and using some of the paper and a, and a carry bag, it is, is, that feels like a pretty basic human right that people should have access to those things. But food banks provide the only access for those struggling the most, where volunteers say it's the toiletries that people are now queuing up for. Staff in this food bank say they have always been busy, but what people are increasingly in desperate need of are hygiene products, things like shower gels, period pads, and even just washing up liquid. And there isn't enough to meet the demand leading to some desperate measures. It was shocking to me when they come to an organisation like Breadline London and they're asking for period products especially because they're using newspaper. They've got newspaper that they've got, ladies have got newspaper that's stacked up just in case they can't have anything. I'm like, I just, I don't understand how I can not give them. But if that means that I, can, I have to keep it from someone else, it's just so unreasonable. It's just, I just feel so, so sad. Impossible choices that no one should be making. Milena Veselinovic, Sky News.